Question. Which one of these looks better? Which one looks neater? Which one just looks more well put together and more stylish, more simple, more elegant? If you answered this one, you'd be in the same camp as me. This one actually has what's called straight bar lacing. Now you can see this one doesn't have straight bar lacing. It just has a traditional cross lacing. I'm not sure what you call it. Straight bar lacing is probably one of the most simple things you can do to upgrade your style and it can set you apart from other guys that are also wearing nicer shoes, whether it, you know, any sort of dress shoes. It really looks best on formal shoes like these Allen Edmonds strands. The straight bar lacing method is just that one extra thing you can do to just put the icing on the cake. If you've got a shoe that's nicely polished with straight bar lacing, it's going to look that little bit better than the shoe that you haven't polished in a couple of days and the laces are kind of just all crisscross like they were on this one. So let's go over how to lace them to get that beautiful straight bar look. So first, if you're using a shoe tree, remove it. It just makes things a bit easier. We're going to untie the shoe. We've got the shoe untied. Now what we're going to do, maybe you guys can see that a little bit better. We're going to take the laces and make them about even, even though these are a little bit less even, but make them about even, these laces. All right, you want the laces to be about even. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take this lace goes on this side of the shoe. You guys see that? We're going to take it. We're going to go underneath and on the same side, this first one's tricky, on the same side, we're going to go right here and pull it tight. So now it's kind of hard to see that. It loops underneath and inside. See how it does? It comes out from the right side. It goes back in on the right side. So that's the first one. The second one, we can't necessarily do that we have to take it right from the left side and we have to skip one. This is how it should look. You got to skip one. Next step, you cross this over and you thread it through, right? And you do the same thing with this one. You cross it over to the one that's right, right on the other side. There we go. Now, that's what you're currently left with. So you can start to see it's coming together, right? You take this one because what you want to do is you want to skip one and you want to take it, you skip one hole and put it right there. It would help if I was looking at the camera and made sure that you guys can see this. And again, this one on the left side that is, you just want to go right here. So now once again, you can see how it skips it. And then what you do is you pull it tight like that. And then this one, again, pull it over. This actually goes underneath. I don't know why I did that. Now, where do you think we go next from here? If you answered the right side goes to the right eyelet and the left side goes to the left eyelet, well, you would be correct. There we have it. There is the straight bar lacing. I'm also running the straight bar lace on my dark chili McAllister's, the wingtips. It's a bit harder to see it in this light just because these are such a darker shoe. Now, when should you apply the straight bar lacing pattern to your shoes? If you're wearing a dress shoe like Beyond Edmund Strand and a McAllister and it's a lace up dress shoe, Without a doubt, it's a no-brainer. If you're gonna polish the shoes and make it look nice and stylish and sleek and sophisticated, absolutely, you wanna get that straight bar pattern. It's gonna make it look that much more stylish. It's very subtle. It shows you went that extra step to put a little bit more thought and effort into your appearance and your overall image. When should you not use straight bar lacing? Well, let's say you're wearing a more casual shoe, such as something like this, the Vans Old School. In my humble opinion, I think a casual sneaker like this is always going to look better with regular crisscross pattern, whatever you want to call it. Just because when you start to use straight bar on a shoe like this, the, the actual laces are going to be much, much bigger. Whereas on a shoe like this, this is a closed lacing system that's very tight together. Whereas on this shoe, the lace holes are much closer anyway. It is going to look a little bit more stylish. Whereas on here, it starts to make the shoe look a little bit fatter. It's just something I feel like the regular crisscross pattern is better for casual sneakers like these. Now for your casual shoes, such as your Clark's Desert Boot, 
this is another one where it doesn't really matter that much, but the crisscross lacing is just going to fit the character of this shoe, this boot, a little bit better. I can actually show you guys what it looks like with straight bar. Just give me one second. And straight bar lacing on this shoe is ridiculously easy because it's pretty much a no-brainer. So again, not much of a difference. Let's tie the shoe. That way you guys can see what it looks like. Not much of a difference, but with the straight bar pattern, it is a little bit tougher and a little bit not as simple to tighten and loosen the shoe. So a casual shoe like this, it, it just kind of looks a little weird. It looks like something's missing right there. So casual shoes, regular lacing fits them better. Dressier shoes, nice shoes like this, gotta go straight bar all the time. Guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Appreciate you watching. Hope you found this helpful. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If you enjoy these videos, consider subscribing. It's totally free as of right now. And as always, thanks so much for stopping by. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. Goodbye and good night. Bye.